And so, so now you're going to have some kind of ringing thing. Okay. The last woman gave me trouble. No. Saxophonists play very fast. So what am I going to do? Well, in the first spinning place. Spinning. It has to be spinning. And when you think about things spinning, when do you notice that they're spinning? You notice that they're spinning, not when they're spinning. You notice they're spinning when they wobble. <laughs> right? And you're going round and round and all of a sudden... Right? So, for the last moment, I have to, something, have, to have something that goes... <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Three seed ideas. So I'm going to play you the opening. We're going to we have a recording of the openings of my concerto for alto saxophone. It was a little longer than 10 minutes. Premiered in Arizona in, in 2000 for NASA 2000, alto saxophone, and this is, uh, I hope, this is the down the, river, down the rivers of the windfall light. So it has to be light itself, it's got to come down somehow. Okay. It's number two. So let's that's number one. That's number so go one. to number two. Okay. Okay, we're going to stop there. So it's track two. Yep. <coughs> oh, that's, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yep. Okay. Okay, I'll have to. Um, I mean, it's a nice introduction, but I did. Okay, there we go. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bleeding notes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So that's down the river. So now we need bells, hymns, and pebbles. Okay. So this is number three. Okay. That was a bell. Hymn. You too can do this. <laughs> Pebbles in a holy stream. They picked really the wrong person for this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, then the third movement. Then the third movement. Now we've got to wobble. Okay, got to wobble. Going to wobble. Yeah. Trying to wobble. But the sac Okay, there we go. This is the end of that second moment. Oh. No. Ugh. That's the wrong one, eh? I know, it's the last part. It's okay, we'll hear it. Let it go. We can back, we can go back. No, it's okay, it's okay. I can't bear it if you stop it. Here we go. So this is 
like a tune. It's the end of the piece. That's the end of the piece because we we skipped a track, and when I went to the first performance, the conductor and the uh, alto saxophone player they said it doesn't end. I said, how can it end? It's still spinning. <laughs> <laughs> it would fall out of the sky if it ended. It just spins, and they said we want. Couldn't we have an ending? <laughs> and I said, no, you can't have an ending. And so now, now my, my soloist is reconciled to the fact that she's going to be doing that pretty much to the end. Hello. <laughs> So this is an example of taking actually the three movements, movement titles out of a poem. Um, on Thursday, if you would like to come to Thursday's concert, um, I have a piece <coughs> called Nothing Forgotten, and it's for uh, violin, cello, and piano. The title is from a poem by Jordan Smith, um, who is a Guggenheim award-winning poet at Union College. The, uh, the whole poem is called A Lesson from the Hudson River School, Glens Falls, New York, 1848. It's a long poem. But right at the end he says, you see what scares me about this landscape is that nothing is new nothing forgotten, nothing lost, and nothing changes. So this is the nothing forgotten. And the first movement is, as if the granite were some half forgotten spirit. Second movement is, all that light caught forever in the pine boughs bound between the stones and current. And the last moment, the mesh of branches, root, and sky. The piece is called Nothing Forgotten. It's, it's been recorded, but I, I don't want to put it in now. And if you want to come tomorrow, Thursday, day after tomorrow, you'll hear how I responded to those words. So, Let's take the remaining poets in your handout in reverse chron chronological order. We'll start with Mena Elvin. Mena Elvin's website says she is the best known and most translated of all modern Welsh language poets. She, she actually, her books are published bilingually. So this is a Welsh-English bilingual edition of, of Mena's work. Um, I've worked with her on a number of projects. She's a friend of mine. Uh, we ended up uh, at that, um, you mentioned Psalm 104. Uh, Psalm, Psalm 104 was commissioned by the, North, the 1999 North American Nas National Gamanvagani. Gamanvagani is like Kani, that Kani. So it's a, it's a singing festival. 
and, and uh, we ended up rooming together, not knowing each other before, but we were both Welsh, so it worked out just fine. Um, and it, uh, I, I remember that uh, I, I remember that that conference because um, I had to speak before the premier. And then uh, I said to the audience, there was a large audience, about 3,000 people, and uh, I said to them that uh, the conductor had asked me for a song of praise to raise the roof. And I looked up and I said, at that point, I hadn't realized that the roof was made of yellow brick. <laughs> 3,000 people sort of squirmed in their seats. 